Good morning friends. Today we shall study about pressure intensifiers or pressure boosters. Intensifier or booster is used to increase the pressure of oil. If we need to have high pressure then we can use intensifiers. Intensifiers consists of two cylinders. One is input cylinder and the other is output cylinder. The diameter of input cylinder is more than the diameter of output cylinder. That A1 is the area of input cylinder, A2 is the area of output cylinder. And P1 is the pressure supplied to the in intensifier to the input cylinder. And P2 is the pressure of oil which is delivered by the intensifier or which is delivered by the output cylinder. Then the pressure of oil delivered that is P2 will be A1 by A2 that is the intensification factor into P1 that is the pressure of oil which is given supplied to the input cylinder. A1 is more, A2 is less. The ratio A1 by A2 is called intensification factor. It is greater than 1 and hence the pressure of oil delivered will be more than the pressure of oil which is supplied to the intensifier. And if we consider the packing frictions in input cylinder and output cylinder as F1 and F2, then the pressure of oil delivered will be P2 equals P1 into A1 minus the packing frictions divided by A2. There are two types of intensifiers. One is single acting intensifier and the other is double acting intensifier. We shall see the single acting intensifier now. Single acting intensifier is operated with the help of 3 by 2 direction control valves. And this is input cylinder which is bigger in size and this is output cylinder which is smaller in size. When the lever of 3 by 2 direction control valve is kept in this position, first position, oil flows to the input cylinder. There is P to A connection. Oil from pump will flow to the large input cylinder and that will exert pressure on the piston of the big cylinder, input cylinder. And the force exerted is the pressure of oil P1 multiplied by the area of the piston of the large cylinder that is A1. So P1 A1 is the force applied here and that force will be exerted by the small piston here on this oil. So that force will be pressure of oil in the small cylinder multiplied by area of the small cylinder. If packing frictions of the two pistons are neglected then P1 A1 will be equal to P2 A2. So that P2 will be A1 by A2 into P1 and if we consider packing friction then this P1 A1 minus the packing friction in the big cylinder that is F1 minus the packing friction in the small cylinder that is F2. So this is equal to P2 A2. So P2 will be this P1 A1 minus F1 minus F2 divided by this A2. Now we shall see operation of this single acting intensifier. When we keep the lever in first position P2 A oil flows and oil will flow to this big cylinder. That's why the piston will move in downward direction and it will push the oil in the small cylinder to come out through this check valve at high pressure. When you shift the lever to the other position, then A to T connection is made due to which the piston will move in the reverse direction. Piston will move in upward direction due to spring force. As the piston is moving in upward direction, oil is sucked from the sump or from the reservoir into the small cylinder. In upward stroke, oil is sucked into the small cylinder and in downward stroke, oil is, high pressure oil is given out from the small cylinder. This is double acting intensifier. We shall go through it. To operate this double acting intensifier, we use 4 by 2 direction control valve. When the lever is kept in first position, P to A, P to T connection is there. Oil flows to the port A head end port of this input cylinder and the piston will move in downward direction. Oil which is there in the intensifier below the piston will flow out and oil from the reservoir will flow into the top port P1 of the small cylinder. So oil is flowing like this and oil is flowing like this. Means during this downward stroke on one side there is suction of oil into the small cylinder and on the other side there is delivery of oil from the small cylinder. 
When we keep the lever in the other position, there will be connection from P to B and A to T, due to which oil flows to the rod end port of the big cylinder and from here oil will come out it goes to tank during that stroke piston will move in upward direction and oil is sucked from the reservoir to p2 the port at bottom of this vertical small cylinder oil is sucked into the bottom of the small cylinder and from top oil which is there above the piston in the small cylinder will flow out through q2 and it is given to the system applications of intensifiers Intensifiers are used where we need very high pressure. Such high pressure may be required in case of destructive testing machines such as burst pressure testing machine to test the burst pressure of the hydraulic pipes or in strength of materials laboratory to test the ultimate stress of materials. We need very very high pressure. Very very high force is required. That's why we need very high pressure and hence intensifiers are used in testing machines particularly destructive testing machines.